in this video I want to uh, go over how you can use inverse normal uh, or the z values to find the x values okay so yeah let's read this question uh, Central Hawkesbury College uh, test the intelligence of all the new entrants at year 9 the results the test results in marks is normally distributed with a mean of 110 and the standard deviation of 14 so the mu is 110 and the standard deviation is 14 marks so let's say the marks are in complete numbers the bottom 7% are classified as slow learners and the top 11% are placed in an accelerated class. So the question is what is the minimum marks needed to be avoided to be classified as a slow learner. So yeah, the first thing that we need to do to understand is to draw a bell shaped curve. So what we are saying is the mean the mean is 110 here, so the mean comes here, so the mu is 110. And the standard deviation is 14. Okay. So now, for, for a student to be considered as a slow learner, you have to think whether it is it would be on the left of mean or the right of mean. Okay, so using just a bit of common sense, you can say, well, it has to be to the left of mean. Okay, so let me use a darker color. So this is, this, let's say, this is the category of the slow learners. And the percentage of slow learners are, or is 11, uh, how much percent? 7%. So this is 7%. So in terms of, uh, in terms of probability, in terms of percentage, this is 0 0.07. So the question is, what is X? any student or if the student is to be not a slow learner the question is not a slow learner so we're thinking about this area if you get anything over this mark you're not to be categorized as a slow learner so basically you want to find X so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the Z value first now to calculate the Z you have to set mu as 0 and the standard deviation as 1. Okay, so for that you will get the z value. Now for that we are going to use the calculator. So get a calculate if you have a graphic calculator, go to stats, then press F5, which is distribution, then normal F1, and inverse normal. So now my calculator has got three options. You have, can enter the area to the left, center, or right. Now this area is to the left. I'm going to enter this number, which is the area to the left of the x value or the z value. So left is fine. So I'll scroll down and enter 0 0.07. Standard deviation is 1 and mu is 0 by default and then execute. So this z value corresponding to when mu is 0 and center deviation is 1 is minus 1.48 or let's say minus 1.5 okay so if you want to round this in 1 dp so this is minus is it minus 1.5 yeah so if you round in 1 dp it's minus 1.5 okay so let's do the calculation here so z is the formula is the random variable minus mu divided by the standard deviation. So we know our z. So z is minus 1.5 is equal to x is what we want to find minus mu is 110 divided by 14. So now I'm going to multiply 14 to both sides. So if you multiply 14 to this side, you have to multiply 14 to this side. The reason is I want to cancel this 14. So now it becomes, uh, so let's do what is 14. So let me scroll it to this side. So go to run menu. I want to be exact. So 14 times minus 
0.5 is equal to minus 21. So this is minus 21 is equal to your random variable x minus 110. Now I'm going to add 110 to both sides. So if we add 110 to this side, I have to add 110 to this side. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled. So x is, your random variable is, uh, plus 110. Plus 110. So, or minus 21, plus 110 which is 89. So this is 89. So if you're getting 89 or less, you will be a slow learner. So the minimum marks that you need to be categorized, uh, the minimum marks that you need to get is 90. If you're getting 89, you will be categorized as slow learner. But the question is, uh, avoid being classified as a slow learner. So if you get 90 or more, you will not be classified as a slow learner. So the answer is 89. Okay, so the next part is what are the minimum marks needed to be eligible to be in the accelerated cl class? So again, so let's draw a normal curve. This is a normal curve, normally distributed marks. The mu is standard deviation, sorry, mu is 110, and standard deviation is 14 marks. Now, if you are an, an intelligent or highly intelligent student, your mark should be to the right of mean. So this is what we want to find here. Yeah. So this is what we want to find. X is what we want to find. And how much are the top? That's 11%. So this is the 11% students who are going to be in the accelerated class. So this area is 0 0.11. Okay. So basically, we want to find what's the z value. Okay, so we have got, again, go to stats, distribution, normal, inverse normal. And here, the area is to the right. So click on F2. And the area is 0 0.11. So this is the corresponding z value, which is 1.2. So we can say the z corresponding z value for x is 1.122. 1 so let's say 1.2. So again, use the same formula. Z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So 1.2 is equal to x minus 110 divided by 14. So I'm going to multiply 14 to both sides first. So this and this gets cancelled. So 14 times 1.2, 14 times 1.2 is 16.8. So I can say 16.8 is equal to x minus 110. Now I'm going to add 110 to both sides. So plus 110, plus 110. So the x value is going to be 170, uh, 120, sorry, one, uh, 110 plus 16 is 126.7, 126 126.8, 126 126.8 is going to be your x value. So if you're going to get 126.8, you're going to be a medium learner. So if you want to be in the top learner, the x value has to be more than that. So your x value uh, has to be 127 marks. So if you get 127 marks, that's the minimum marks. You have to round up because this value is the exact value. So if you get 126.8, you're going to be in this category. Or you can say this is in this middle learner or medium learner. So this is the slow learner, this is the slow, this is the medium, and this is the fast learner, so accelerated learner. So that's why I'm rounding it up. So if you get 127 marks or above, you are going to be in the accelerated class. 